YouTube, ZM795 here, and today I'm going to be making another video. I'm going to do another unboxing video, <clears throat> and I got really good feedback on my Maisto Porsche Porsche Cayman S, so I decided to do another Maisto car unboxing. I got this one um, on my trip to Disney World. I got it on te at Test Track. You know how that ride, right? Like it, <clears throat> and um, this is like a really nice car. Well, since Test Track is sponsored by Chevrolet, obviously, there's only, like, Chevrolet cars. So I picked out, um, what I thought was the coolest one, the Corvette Stingray. So, yeah, let's go ahead and unbox this. Also, I'm using the newest version of, I, I'm using the newer ver newest version of iOS 8 to record this. So, so I'm going to be giving out the time lapse and time lapse mode a try. So, yeah, let's on boxes and I'm gonna be putting this on time lapse mode now. So yes, I finally finished unboxing it YouTube after doing the time lapse mode. So tell me what you think in the comments below um of what you think of iOS 8 if you have an iOS device of course. Cause I in my opinion I really like iOS 8. It's very nice. I know people don't really see too much of a difference but but it's the applications that are the difference, not exactly the software, like just the applications, basically. Like iMovie is different, and I'm going to be using that on my iPad. So all the video editing you see is going to be directly on my iPad, not on my MacBook Pro, because I'm just showcasing what iOS is like. So yeah, so, so far I have opened the car, and yeah, I'm going to do time-lapse mode again, so I'll be right back. Okay, so unboxing it actually took longer than it looked like. That's why I activated time lapse mode because I didn't want it to be boring. So yeah, here is the Corvette Stingray. The thing I love about Maestro's products is that it feels very well built. It feels very, very nice, light to hold in your hand. They put like you can open the engine and stuff, which looks cool. Like I think, yeah, there's the engine inside. So yeah. And here's the back. This is my favorite part of the Corvette. This looks amazing. Look at this. The four gas emissions. And I got... And no, I did not get this in California. Yeah, it looks... It's a very, very, very nice car. I love this car. This is like one of my most favorite cars. Well, one of my most favorite affordable sports cars. Next is the Alfa Romeo 4C. So yeah, if you, if you can see very closely, you see that little... Screen, yeah, that's cool, right? It's a touch, pa it's a touch screen for the new Corvette. This is a 2014 model, so the Maisto, and the reason why the um, Porsche Cayman S didn't have it is because it's like an older model. So, but yeah, look at all the detail they put in it. Look at this: the gearbox, the steering wheel, the gas pedals. It's amazing, and, and the seats also look really nice. Very, very, very well built car. I love this. So, yeah. So, yeah, I really like this car. It's very nice. It's a very nice decoration for a room. It's smaller than my Porsche Cayman S, though, because this is, um, it says so on the box. It says it is, you see it over here? Um, it's a scale 1 to 24, so you need 24 of these to make like the actual model. And for the, my Porsche, it was 1 to 18, so it's bigger. But in my opinion, the Corvette and the Porsche actually look like the same size. So, so here, let me just go get my Porsche Cayman S and I'll show you the... So I brought my Porsche Cayman S. And, um, so yeah, let's just do a quick comparison in length. So... You could definitely tell, like, this thing is, um, is way taller, it's way wider, it's way longer, too, so, so apparently I was wrong, because, because, um, because I had, like, the, because I was waiting to unbox this, I did, a, like, a side-by-side -side comparison, you, with, like, um, when the Corvette was still in the box, uh, I don't know why I did that, but, uh, but it just looked like the Corvette and the Porsche were, like, the same size, but, there's only like a slight, actually in length, like the Porsche definitely surpasses. 
In height, it's just a little bit different. Um, yeah, it's just a tiny bit different. Maybe like, yeah, I think it's like 0 0.5, 0 0.9 centimeters taller, I believe. But yeah, so they both look really nice. In my opinion, I like the, um, I like the detail to put it in the Corvette more better, because it's one of the newer cars. Cause, cause like, look at all the detail put into it. The Porsche, there's a lot of detail put into it, but in my opinion, since the Corvette's a newer car, they put so much good detail to it, and it just looks very nice. Okay, so sorry about the ringing noise, YouTube. My phone was ringing, so I just edited that part of the video out. And so yeah, so like I was saying, the Corvette looks way nice and way more nicer than the Porsche Porsche over here, and it's more lightweight, more compact. The Porsche, on the other hand, yeah, it's really heavy. Like seriously, think about um, like the Porsche weighs about three, two times more than the Corvette. That that's one thing for sure. Like if you stack two Corvettes on top of each other then that would equal the amount that the Porsche came in as. Not in real life, of course, that would be hilarious. But, but so yeah, they're both really, really, really nice cars. I, like I said in my last video, I definitely recommend getting a Maisto car, because it's a very nice brand, I really like the quality. So anyways, YouTube, thank you for watching, and please, and please tell me in the comments below what, what you think of iOS 8, and, and, for my Minecraft survival series, what I should do next. Sorry, I keep on nagging you on YouTube. I'm just, it's just that I want your opinion for once, cause I've been making videos, um, like Mario Kart, but um, <clears throat> but then no one really seems to like my Mario Kart videos. I understand why, cause when I was watching my Mario Kart videos, I it wasn't very enjoyable, but. But it's your opinion if you like them. If you like them, thank you so much. <clears throat> but anyways, um, please, please tell me what I should do in my Minecraft survival series. So anyways, thank you for watching YouTube, and I'll make sure to upload my next video. So bye for now, YouTube.